Alrighty guys, welcome to another tutorial and of course in the last tutorial we made all the styling for these nice pretty buttons on that menu. So now if we ever want them to show up we got to make some HTML. So that's what we're going to be doing. So the first thing we need to do is just make a div for that class bottom menu and or not menu. Yeah, I'm from Kentucky and just put bottom menu right there and then you make your list and alright so sorry anyone from Kentucky alright so of course we made our main div in just remember this div is the area that your menu or the bottom bar is gonna go so I already said that it was an unordered list and we saw that whenever we were styling it now each of the buttons is not only a link but it's also a list item so for the link, I'll just put a href, and I'm just going to set it equal to a, a pound sign right there. That means I don't know what link's going in there yet, but it's going to be a link. So if you want to put like Google or Bucky's Room or whatever website you want, probably Bucky's Room because it's the best website ever you can. But inside each of these links, you're going to want a list item. Now, simple enough. Now inside each of these items what you can have is text but what I want to do is I want to stick an image in there now the image of course is that little icon and also I was setting this up and I really don't know how I want to do it for my website I know I want the middle one to be the home then a stream and then the user's profile but I really didn't know what else to put what other common buttons they would want I don't know maybe like the videos the tutorial section but for right now that's why I have the same button on each one just cause I don't know it's like a placeholder until I decide what's gonna go there so the image source again if you're using your own images that's fine if you want to use mine that you uh, downloaded from the website then they are at images slash stream minus icon and that was a ping so that's the stream one now for any other button all we have to do is just copy and paste this now remember this is your main list and this is an individual button so that's the stream one two three four five so again we have the stream and then I think I have person next and then the middle one is the home and then I just have stream and person again so we're gonna be changing these two later on whenever I decide and if any of you guys have any suggestions please let me know but that's all we have to do so now we save this and refresh it and check it out and it looks like they are to the left because I forgot to center align the text now the reason that we need text align center is if we don't have this then the images won't appear in the middle so even though it says text line it aligns anything that's in there so check this out um, watch these whenever I refresh it you see that they now are in the middle of each button and that's where I wanted them before so the only other thing that we need to do is we need to highlight wherever we're at we need to add a selected attribute to one of these buttons and let's just go ahead and add it to the home by default now remember whenever we add a selected class to a list item what it does is it makes the button highlighted by changing opacity to one and adding a nice red border on the bottom and actually it's not adding a border it's changing the black border to that nice bright red so all we have to do for this is where you at home icon right there so class equals I named it selected and of course whenever we're actually designing our website we're going to do this through PHP or JavaScript or whatever language it's built in but now refresh it and check it out so this one's a little bit easier to see because by default these buttons have an opacity of 50 percent pretty cool and that means that not only the background but the image itself is also 50 so the highlighted button not only has a nice bright red background but it is opacity one which means it's solid black and the icon lights up to bright white pretty freaking cool we now have an awesome looking menu bar at the bottom. 
So in the upcoming tutorials, now that we understand how to make that sweet menu bar, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these icons and how to make sure the images for each one and also the text displays properly. It's going to be pretty freaking cool. And again, like I said, if you guys want any of the code from this or if you just want to copy it and use it in your own website, then it's all on my forum for free. Pretty freaking sweet. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go eat some Hot Pockets, and I will see you guys next time.